So uh, Taylor Swift's tour continues. She's playing in Singapore right now. She's got uh, several dates back to back to back coming up this week in Singapore. And it is causing total <laughs> political chaos. Did you say uh, political chaos, Political Charles? chaos in Southeast Asia. Uh, and it's, this is not about politicians who want tickets for their right. kids. Right. Um, they really feel um, other countries feel like they've been screwed uh, by Taylor's people, by the promoters, and by the government in Singapore, uh, because that is the only place she'll be playing in Southeast Asia. And right. that there, has... there's like an exclusivity agreement, and it has literally created an issue between two sovereign nations. Politicians in the Philippines want answers, and they feel like they got cut out of the deal here. Um, and it's not just about having Taylor Swift there to perform. Yeah. It's about all of, we talked about what she did for the economies oh. of states and cities throughout Tens the US. Tens of millions her more, tour. Charles. Well, the same holds true when she's touring internationally. And all these countries, you can't blame them, they want a cut of the pie, right. but that's not gonna be possible in Southeast Asia, which is why all the political uprest now from surrounding countries. Yeah, you guys, if we actually get into the details of what was allegedly offered to Taylor Swift in her camp by the Singaporean government, it's kind of astounding. So Philip, a Filipino lawmaker came out on the record this weekend slamming uh, Singapore saying, we've heard that Singapore offered Taylor Swift and company upwards of $3 million per show just to exclusively do her six shows there in Singapore. Um, and then the minister, the prime minister of Thailand, I believe, came out and echoed those comments and said, yeah, we've heard the same thing. Shame, shame on Singapore. This, the wealth should have been spread amongst everybody. This is not what good neighbors do, essentially. That's what they were saying. Then the, the, uh, the minister of culture for Singapore came out <laughs> and seemingly confirmed those reports. He didn't, he said the, the number's off a little bit. Now they're saying it's closer to $2 million per show, but apparently. Whatever the number is. But right. in any it's case. In any case, they are copying to it, and now Singapore is pissed about the fact that this actually leaked out to their neighboring countries, and they're apparently going to retaliate against the actual whistleblower. <laughs>